And I'm like, oh my God, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? And then they're like, hold on, pause. The king can't sleep. There are very strict rules for reading the book of Esther. And the number one very strict rule is you have to hear every single word. Plus, every time the reader says, hey, <laughs> Also, you're supposed to read this list of Haman's <laughs> 10 sons in one breath. So these very long, very complicated Persian names of all of these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, who were then hanged <gasps> all in one breath. That is tradition. And did I mention everyone's in costume? Um, fun traditions that get old very quickly. Not only booing Haman, but also booing at the word taxes. Yeah, 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 we get it. So the book of Esther is not only written in extremely dramatic language, it is also read in a highly dramatic way. The plot is, it's linear. It is, there's this one moment where it's like you're in the thick of action and you're in a huge amount of suspense and you just can't wait to, for that. Every year I feel this way. We read this book every single year. Oh, twice. Once at night and once during the day. And every single year I feel the same way, which is that we read chapter five and I'm like, oh my god, when is she gonna tell him? When is she gonna tell him? When are they gonna resolve this? When are they gonna figure it out? The Jews are gonna die. And I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And then they're like, hold on, pause. The king can't sleep. <laughs> Wait, the king is having insomnia. What are we gonna do? And then there's this just storyline with the king can't fall asleep, and so they read him this story, and so then Haman <laughs> Haman God Stop it <laughs> Parades Mordechai around the town on a horse in, in royal robes. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's nice. Can we get back to the plot, please? Because I want to find out what happened. There's one highly significant plot hole in this book that really bothers me, which is that um, in like very early on, um, there are some dudes who are plotting to kill the king and Mordecai overhears them and he tells Esther and Esther tells the king and then Mordecai is honored for saving the king's life. Um, and then later on, when Mordecai gets wind of Haman's plot to kill all the Jews, Mordecai tells Esther and he says, you've got to tell the king. And Esther's like, oh gosh, I don't know how to get a message to the king that I need to tell the king something very, very important. Because if I just go uninvited, the king might behead me. Well, what happened last time? Also, what kind of a marriage is that? There are some major messed up themes in this book. Number one, a woman should never, ever, ever say no to a man, ever. So if you, like many, sometimes wonder why a woman didn't say no, check out chapter one of the Book of Esther, in which a very drunken Ahasuerus summons his wife, the queen, to a party of very drunken men to display her beauty. Well, even though it's not there in the script, it is, it's considered canon <laughs> that uh, he wanted her to be displayed with no, no clothing on. She said no, and uh, he fired her from being queen. <laughs> Which, you know, it's not like she got demoted, she got exiled. You know, she got, she, so in, in, in one word, by saying no to this request, she lost her husband, her house. Basically, she lost her community, her kingdom, everything that she's ever had. Her social status, everything. She lost everything. It's not like it was exactly easy back in those days for a woman to f just move on and, you know, get a new job and find a new husband. Number two, some really awkward business with no calling takebacks. Basically, uh, Esther tells Ahasuerus that Haman's <laughs> plotting to kill her entire people. And uh, based on this, um, Ahasuerus gets super mad and commands 
Haman to be uh, executed. And um, <clears throat> Haman's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize the queen was Jewish. <laughs> oh, awkward. And then, you know, they hang Haman. <laughs> Very impressive gallows. And Ahasuerus forgets about it. And Esther's like, so, um, about last night, I realized that Haman had been hanged, but like, um, the decrees about killing the Jews are still out there. So can we have those retracted, please? And Ahasuerus is like, no, there's no such thing. Like, I'm sorry, dear. I love you so much, but there's nothing I can do. I, there's nothing I, the king, can do. I cannot retract a decree. Oh, what? How about instead of that, we'll do a new decree, okay? So, so the non-Jews have to try to kill the Jews, and the Jews are allowed to stand up for themselves and kill anyone who comes at them. Happy Hunger Games!